Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Emily here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few Mother's Day tablescape ideas and I hope you uh, like them. So I'm going to be using these woven chargers. I got these from Walmart a few years ago, but you can find them pretty much anywhere. These creamish white napkins, these tulips from A Floral, I think they're beautiful. These chargers are from Home Goods last year or the year before. These napkin rings are from Totally Dazzled. They are gorgeous. Um, any type of plate you want. This burlap runner is from Burlap Fabrics. And then I'm using mason jars, some crystal glass, and then your centerpiece of choice. So here are the two options I was going to do for the napkins. The first, obviously, I'm just going to show you how to make them. But I'm going to be using the napkin and you're just going to kind of roll it together or pinch it basically depending on the size of your napkin ring. These napkin rings are absolutely gorgeous and I love them. You guys actually have a chance to win these in my Mother's Day giveaway. So um, I just start by kind of pulling the napkin apart a little bit and then pulling that a real filled tulip all the way through also. And then you can clip the tulip here if you wanted to, but I like to reuse my flowers. So I just simply wrapped it around the napkin and made sure the bottom of it was on the bottom. And I really liked the way the greenery added to the actual napkin itself. I think it makes it look really fresh and kind of farmhousey. So the second option is to open your napkin up, but leave it double plied. And then you're going to take your napkin ring and pull that all the way down onto it. It's fairly simple. You guys can be creative however you want. And then I pulled out the two sides so it looks kind of like a little bit of a wing. And like I said, you can pretty much do whatever you want with your napkins, but I'm just showing you a few different ideas. And then I went ahead and just took my tulip and again pulled it all the way through. You can snip it again, but I just kind of bent it and stuffed it underneath the napkin. And no reason to mind that. And it actually makes a nice gift. But these are the two different options and I like the way those looked. So I'm going to give you a few different um, options for your chargers. So I laid out the wicker and then put the silver ones on top. And here I'm showing you how it's going to look with just plates. I'm using square plates because that's what I have, but you can use round ones or you no plates at all. So with this first one, you can see I'm not using any charger except for the wicker one, which you could totally do without. I think it's really pretty. The second one has a silver charger in it with the plate, and you can see the way the silver charger and then the napkin rings pick up on each other and just adds a little extra bling. And then again, you can see by changing out um, the plate, adding that silver with the napkin ring really makes it pop. So you have three different ideas for how you want to maybe set your table. I know for us, we when we have everybody over for family gatherings, we make kind of like a buffet style, so we leave all the plates on the counter. So next, just take your table runner or your tablecloth, lay it down, take your centerpiece and center it. This centerpiece is not very tall, I wanted everybody to be able to see over it. And then this is where you can get creative and take your chargers and your plates and your napkins and really go to town with it. I'm using two different tile cups because we like to have one for water and then one for maybe mimosas or a special drink that we're having for that day. And I think you can just really play it up and see which way you want. You don't have to do anything too fancy here, but you can see the way the burlap and the lace just adds that really elegant feel to it, especially with the flowers, all the different colors. If you want to know how I made that, that's in my last video. I will leave that link down below for you. But I think all the different colors just makes it feel very, very special and kind of springy slash Mother's Day feel. The tulips, I feel like, may give it a little bit fresh look to it and just adds an extra touch to it, makes it feel a little bit more special. You could, of course, use real flowers for this. And then obviously the napkin rings are the showstopper here. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these couple different ways you could decorate your table for Mother's Day, seeing how you could use it with chargers or without chargers, plates or no plates, depending on what your styling is going for. Just adding a really pretty floral piece to your table with a little bit of a table runner and a napkin ring can really add a lot of impact to your table. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything will be linked down below if you are interested in getting anything. And remember, you still have time to enter my Mother's Day giveaway. There's two more days for that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next DIY. Thank you. God bless. Bye.